there are four simple tweaks to your opener pitch that I'm gonna show you how to do, but more importantly, what you're doing wrong in your opener pitch to help you progress through the sale into your second step, which is remember your features and benefits after you've learned to master your opener pitch. The first thing you are doing wrong is number one, talking way too quick. Do you see how right now I'm slowly bringing the way I'm talking to you down, but more importantly, I'm still talking at such a level that it's making complete sense. Whereas as opposed to talking really quick like this, a lot of people, they tend to at first just really talk really fast and spew out all the information. Hope that made sense. That is number one. Now, number two, more importantly, from talking real quick, you tend to sound like a typical salesperson, right? How many people just sound like a salesperson over and over at the door? And I know I keep repeating myself when I say this, but sounding like a typical salesperson means you sound scripted. In order to not sound scripted, what you can do is bring the level of speed that you're talking really slow so your mind can catch up to you talking, all right? So when you actually slow down and you ask more questions, like, first of all, you are the homeowner here, right? Or you are the decision maker, or I'm assuming you probably need your spouse as well to make the decision, which I completely understand. But let me ask you this. Um, do you know many of your neighbors out here, you start asking questions while slowing down your pitch? That is going to help you progress through the opener pitch. Remember, you're not gonna get this right away. Some will, some won't, so what? You gotta watch this video over and over and over again. The mass majority of people need to listen to it about eight to 10 times in order for it to first of all, register completely the whole video. So I'm gonna keep this really short and simple so it makes sense, but more importantly, you're implementing these teachings. Also, by the way, at any point, you can click the link in the description to get my free video course where I break down the opener pitch and then move through progressing through features and benefits. Just click the link in the description. Next, you're, un you're not enthusiastic. You don't sound pretty enthusiastic at the doors. And I don't mean wild and crazy like, oh, wow, hoorah, hee ha. No, but enthusiastic. How bad do you want that sale? How enthusiastic are you about, yeah, do you know your neighbor just right here across the street? Um, first of all, you probably heard about my company, but let me explain this to you. What? Well, let me ask you this. What exactly do you know about my company? Am I pretty enthusiastic about it? Am I pretty enthusiastic about even creating this video? I am. I love what I do, and you should too. You should really love what you are doing, and if you don't, Perhaps it might be a sign, you know, that that you may not you're in the wrong field. But more importantly, I know door to door sales might not be, you know, something that's so exciting and enthusiastic. But do you have that drive? Do you have that passion to actually become the best salesperson in your office? Well, if you do, you are going to get through and progress. You are going to get more sales, closing more sales, surrounding yourself around the positive environment and attitude. Okay. Lastly. It's my drive meter that I talk about all the time. On a level from one all the way to 10, okay? Where are you at when you're knocking? Where are you at on every single door and how does it shift? What do I mean? Number one, being the least. Number 10, being the highest amount of enthusiasm, excitement, energy, your potential. How much are you using on a level from one to 10? 10 being the highest, one being the lowest. When I train my students who knock on doors to rate themselves at every single doors, they typically say I'm at a six, I'm at a five. You can boost up your self-esteem instantly by saying on the next door, as I walk and I get rejected at one, the next door I'm gonna use double my excitement, double my energy, double my enthusiasm. Build it inside your head because you are in control of how many sales you're going to close and how many people are gonna to wanna to talk to you and do business with you. Point out things on their yard, such as their car, um, perhaps uh, their driveway if it's got an epoxy on it, um, you know, their, their roofing if you know much about that, their trees, their fountain in their yard, frogs that they have, uh, little statues or statues, whatever it is. If 
find something to engage with them, to connect with them, because connections make long-term long-term bonds. And uh, when you're talking with them and you can connect and bond in some certain way, they're more than likely going to like you, trust you, and want to do business with you. Thanks for watching this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe and then also click the link in the description to get my free video series in details.